flu. I can't have one vlog anymore without my fan going off my computer, which is annoying. But who cares? Because, um, yeah. So I wanted to talk about a subject that has a lot of mixed opinions right now and um, a lot of different uh, um, accusations of why uh, it, it was happening. Um, basically, the next Smash Brothers, Sakurai said, has no story mode. Um, personally, I'm very happy about this, and I'll uh, explain that later, but um, I've had heard other mixed opinions about this. Um, it really depends on how you like the subspace emissary in Smash Bros. Brawl. And a lot of... and there's three different opinions. There's three different opinions. There's one from long-time uh, fans... Of the, I mean, the, 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 there's one from long-time fans who liked uh, subspace. There's one from long-time fans who li of Smash Brothers that liked uh, subspace, that didn't like subspace. And there was... Um, and there's uh, one uh, opinions from... Uh, fighting game fans who always play fighter games and um i i do agree with the fighter with the people who are long time fans of fighting games um it is nice you, you want to have as many modes as possible and it is nice to have a story mode which is why it was put in brawl but um basically the reasoning sakurai said i think was very very bogus i mean every one of your games has a let's play and i know a lot of them don't have cutscenes but come on there's a lot of games with cutscenes. I mean, I'm doing Xenoblade Chronicles right now. I'm showing every cutscene in the game. I'm doing Kirby's Epic Yarn. One of, I mean, Kirby is your creation, Mr. Sakurai. And I'm showing every cutscene there. People still play the games. and But, I, I mean, honestly, I think it was a good move to do that. Because um, a lot of people say it's a conspiracy about the Let's Playing thing. They wanted to stop getting... And I think that's stupid, too. Because they didn't take say you can't have the let's play they, they didn't take down the video they just took the money from it which they have a right to do did, was it right to do not really but you know they, they're starting to calm down on it i mean who knows honestly they probably just need a little extra cash it's happened before it's happened with sega it's happened with uh it's happened with ubisoft it's happened with a lot of people but you know that's that's the past and i really just don't think that's it i think it has more to do with because they don't want to piss off the people who liked subspace. So here's my reasoning. I understand fighting games need a story, but at the same time, they're not mandatory, and Smash Bros. has had a history of um, not having one. I like what... It's like Smash Bros. is just meant to play with your favorite fighters. It's like, I'm also one of the people who believe they should just stop bothering with the story mode in Call of Duty. But you know what? That makes it... But the problem is it makes it pointless to make new games, because... You're just paying for a new online community that way. But Brawl, Smash Bros. is different. You can add new characters. You can make new designs and levels. I mean, yes, you can make new maps in Call of Duty, but it's totally different because you're doing the same thing. You see new characters in Smash Brothers, new items, new uh, attributes, new ideas. Like, they're taking out tripping from Brawl, thank goodness. It looks like this next Smash Brothers is following the ideas of Melee, which is the most popular in the series. Besides, I like what they did before. In fact, I didn't. In fact, I didn't like the new uh, adventure mode in um, Melee. I hated that. I hated subspace, and I hated that. I just liked the classic. Call me old-fashioned, but here's why I like the the classic um, rail fighter. I like fighting each character to learn what they do, to learn what they're like in their home field advantage. I, except for um, no, yeah, in their home field advantage. I like learning about that. It's cool to see... Okay, here's Ness in, um, in, in on it. It's cool to see how he interacts in his home field advantage. It's cool to know what is, who's best against him, you know? It's cool to know what moves work with him, what, how you can fight with him, how you can be him, how you can fight him against him. And then and if you do... And you can experiment with uh, the classic story mode. You can do certain things. You can put restrictions on yourself. You can put one life. You can put five lives. You can make it very hard. You can, you can say, okay, I'm not using items. And if you do that, you get trophies. You get all that stuff. But more importantly, you get a chance to earn a new character that you fight. You know nothing about this character. And if you lose, you have to do the thing again with the same uh, requirements. That's fun. I like that. I don't know what the problem is. It was a good experiment, Subspace, but they just thought it was a chore. It was just a chore to me. Because it's just like fighting all those side-scroller enemies was boring. I mean, yeah, they could improve on it somehow. 
You could just make the classic with subs with uh, with cutscenes, but what's the point? I didn't like the adventure mode either because it's just fighting all these guys and side scrollers is annoying. It's like this is why people didn't like um, uh, Sub Zero or the the Sub Zero the um, Mortal Kombat Origins game, uh, the Sub Zero Legends game, whatever it's called, because it's just it's like a fire game's in an arena and you fight a, another person. That's just me though. I mean, if people like Subspace, I get that. Um, same thing with, with, the, with the adventure mode in, uh, in, uh, because I, I just hated the different objectives. It's fine to have a little mini game, like, board the platforms and, tar uh, hit the target, break the targets, but when it's, when it's going, when, when you're, um, and you have to go from one place to another in a fighting game, and you have to fight all these enemies, and either make, either make it so you only have to hit them once, or, and don't put a lot of them in there, or just don't do them at all. There's no point. It's boring. Like, um, Injustice. Injustice is my... F I, I love that game. It's amazing. Right now, it's the mo my most played fighter game right now. And it's because... And the story mode was great because I did a fight like I should. I saw a cutscene. And the next fight. That's how it should be. You learn the characters, what they do, how to fight with them. I mean, I wish Injustice had a little more freedom of who you played as, but, you know, they had to stick to a story. And that's a thing. You have to stick to a story. There's no randomized um, selections of modes. There's no Giants versions. There's nothing like that. That's what made Smash Brothers so interesting in their uh, in their classic story mode from 64 that was remade in um, Melee, and I actually forget if it was in Brawl at all. Earning characters is something you should do by experimenting with fighting the characters you have. That's just me. I don't know. That's just what I honestly think about the subject, and... Um, I think they just gave that... St it's a stupid reason. I'm sorry. You're putting... Because the cup scenes were on. You couldn't enjoy the game for the first time. It's like, that's stupid. I'm sorry. It is. It's stupid. I mean, personally, if I played a game... Uh, if I saw a game... Like, um, Nintendo Capri Sun is doing a co-op with... Uh, I forgot his name. On, on New Super Luigi U. I'm waiting for the, the, the actual disc. I don't want to get the DLC. I just like... Honestly, I just like what the box looks like. I, I, it's a nice year of Luigi a trinket to have. So I'm waiting for that. And when I'm done with Super Luigi U, that's when I'm going to watch that Let's Play. That's just how it is. Overall, though, like I've been saying, I, I just didn't like Subspace. Um, and I didn't like the Adventure Mode. I always played Classic during my characters in Melee. And... That's just pretty much how I see it. Um, so I'm glad it's out, and I just wanted to say, and just wanted to say, I know there's a lot of mixed opinions. That's just mine. Just my little two cents video. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.